in this video i will show you another example of phase difference this will be the second example out of four examples find the phase relationship between the following two waveforms see here our alternating current i equal to minus sin omega t plus 30 degree and alternating voltage v equal to 2 sin omega t plus 10 degree here when we have to find the phase difference between two alternating waveforms at first you have to compare the two waveforms or you have to convert the two waveforms in the form of plus a m sin omega t plus or minus phi naught here this a m is the maximum value of the alternating quantity this omega is the angular frequency and this phi naught is the initial phase of the alternating quantity here you will see the alternating voltage v is already in the form of a m sin omega t plus phi naught now look at the i it is in the form of minus sign therefore if i want to convert any minus sign omega t into plus sign omega t you have to be familiar with this form when we add or subtract 180 degree with theta we get sin theta plus 180 degree will be equal to minus sin theta therefore i can write it like this sin omega t plus 30 degree plus 180 degree which will be equal to sin omega t plus 210 degree these two equations indicate the same thing here i have considered the omega t plus 30 degree as theta therefore this omega t plus 30 degree will be equal to theta so sin theta plus 180 degree will be equal to minus sin theta okay so our i equal to sin omega t plus 210 degree and our alternating voltage v equal to 2 sin omega t plus 10 degree here i equal to sin omega t plus 210 degree therefore you will see the initial phase of the current i equal to plus 210 degree and look at the phase of the voltage it will be at only 10 degree that means the origin of the voltage will be only 10 degree left from the reference axis at 10 degree left from the reference axis as phi i equal to plus 10 degree therefore it will be 210 degree ahead from the origin of the refer or the reference axis so let's say this will be that 200 10 degree this will be the origin of i and this will be the origin of v now see if i want to go from the origin of v to origin of i you will see we have to cross total 200 degree as you will get the origin of i 200 degree ahead of the origin of the v therefore i can write it like this i leads p by 200 degree we calculate the phase difference by using this formula phi d equal to phi i minus phi v 210 minus 10 which will be equal to 200 degree see as we have to find the phase relationship between current and voltage we can find the phase relationship between current and voltage by drawing the two waveforms in the Cartesian coordinates here let's say in the x-axis I will take voltage and current I look at the magnitude of the voltage the maximum magnitude of the voltage is plus 2 therefore let's say this is our plus 1 and this is our plus 2 this is 0 let's say this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 let's say in the x-axis I am considering omega t here you will see the origin of the voltage will be 10 degree ahead of the reference axis and the origin of the current will be 210 degree ahead of the reference axis let's say i am taking the angle at a displacement of 30 degree minus 30 minus 60 minus 90 minus 120 minus 150 minus 180 degree minus 210 degree minus 240 degree let's say in this direction i am considering the the angles at a displacement of 30 degree 30 60 90 120 150 180 
Initial phase of current I phi I equal to 210. That means the origin of the current will be 210 degree left from this origin or ahead from this origin. Minus 90, minus 80. This will be the origin of the current. From this point after 90 degree our alternating current will attain its maximum value plus 1. 0, 30, 60, 90. At this point our alternating current will have its positive maximum. From this point to 90 degree I will get 0 value. 0 30 60 90 so see the angular displacement between this point to this point will be 180 degree with respect to this origin okay now see from this point to another 90 degree our alternating quantity will have its negative maximum value 0 30 60 90 so this will be 270 degree see the angular displacement between this point to this point will be 270 degree after 90 degree i will get zero value of the alternating current therefore if i add this point this point this point this point and this point i will get the alternating current so this will be that alternating current i now look at the origin of the voltage here you will see phase angle phi v will be equal to plus 10 degree that means the origin of this voltage will be only 10 degree ahead of the reference axis so this will be the origin of the voltage with respect to this point or origin after 90 degree i will get positive maximum of this voltage positive maximum will be plus 2 0 10 40 70 90 at this point our, our alternating voltage will have its positive maximum 0 10 40 70 90 at this point our alternating voltage will have its zero hello from this point to 90 degree i will get negative maximum 0 10 40 70 90 here our alternating voltage will have its negative maximum from this point to another 90 degree our alternating voltage will have its zero value see the angular displacement between this point to this point will be 360 this origin to this point will be 270 this origin to this point will be 180 and this point to this point will be 90 so if i join these points i will get our alternating voltage so this will be our alternating voltage v now look at the origin of the alternating current and look at the origin of the alternating voltage here you will see this will be at minus 210 degree and this will be at only minus 10 degree if i want to go from this point to this point you will see i have to travel by an angle of 200 degree that means the phase difference between this point to this point phase difference means the angular distance between the two origins will be 200 degree here you will see as the origin of the alternating current is 200 degree ahead of the origin of the voltage so i can write it like this current i leads v by 200 degree i can also calculate the phase difference by using complex sine cosine plane here i equal to sine omega t plus 210 degree so i can write it like this one phase angle will be 210 degree or positive 210 degree if i consider this v equal to 2 sin omega t plus 10 degree if i convert that into a phasor i will get 2 phase angle will be plus 10 degree okay see this is our sin omega t here our initial phase phi not equal to 0 if i rotate in counterclockwise direction our phi will be positive and if i rotate in clockwise direction our phi will be negative so if i rotate let's say 210 degree that means in counterclockwise direction i have to rotate by an angle of 210 degree 90 180 let's say at this point i will get 210 degree now i can look at the current phasor here let's say this is that current phasor i whose magnitude is equal to i equal to 1 this produces an angle of 210 degree in anti-clockwise direction with respect to this sin omega t here v equal to 2 angle will be 10 degree that means let's say i rotate by an angle of 10 degree here now i can look at the voltage phasor voltage phasor will have a magnitude of v equal to 2 this angle is only 10 degree now see with respect to this v if i want to go from v to this i i have to move by an angle of 200 degree 
in counterclockwise direction that means this angle will be positive this indicates that i leads v by 200 degree that's it thank you